r slash ask reddit what makes you roll your eyes every time you hear it whenever you're at a large function for work with a speaker in the morning and there's this exchange speaker good morning everyone everyone good morning speaker oh looks like we haven't had our coffee yet i said good morning everyone everyone good morning I took a public speaking class as a requirement my first couple years of college. One of the first things he told us was do not do this. For obvious reasons. It's annoying and it's just unnecessary filler and to him it was a sign of an insecure speaker lol. I still take mental points off for any speaker I hear do this today. When people say you're doing something the wrong way but really they usually just mean you're not doing it their way. My grandma. I don't care how I'm folding it wrong. It's my shirt. The word millennials when said by any kind of reporter slash TV presenter. The millennials are killing Applebee's. How about the winning lottery numbers when I ask if I can do anything else for someone? Every time we're at a restaurant or something and I ask need anything else, my dad always, without fail, responds with a bag of hundreds followed by a pitted laugh from the recipient. 10% of your brain. Had a friend ask me if I thought that, if we could use more than 10% of our brain, we would be able to fly. Took some restraints to not go off about it. A full keyboard has over a hundred keys, but we only use one or two at a time. Imagine how fast you could type if you could use 100% of your keyboard. Corporate speak and buzzwords. Okay let's touch base next Tuesday to see how we can leverage those synergies to add value with our ideas for a bespoke product. Sounds good. I'll circle back with you once we visualize our North Star for the campaign, and see if I can identify any potential hand raisers to bring into the funnel. Looking forward to connecting. We'll update you again tomorrow with regards to the new campaign that the team will be rolling out in T plus 10 working days. There will also be a networking session on the day of the launch. Please kindly be informed that the paperwork requires your signature. Kind regards. Mr. Duck you. When an item at a store is not scanning properly, it must be free. I've heard this way I, I, I too many times. When someone asks to use a bathroom and the teacher says I don't know, can you? Yes, I can walks out. I'm not rude, I'm just honest. I'm being brutally honest. No, you're being a dom. As a mother. Or when you become a mother. Influencer. Shudder. They've started using that term at work and I just want to vomit every time I hear it. Black. Video games make people. Insert dumb thing here. What fascinates me is how it never works in good ways. Like and wow I'm a healer doesn't that mean I'm going to go be a doctor or save lives somehow? I used to work at Cheers. I got so ducking tired of the amount of people asking if I knew their name as soon as they walked in. Cheers was a real bar, was it the actual same bar or modeled off the show? There are two in Boston, the original that the show was based off of and the replica that they built to look like the set. I study psychology and about one stroke three the time I hear people say something like, oh well you have the perfect people to study on here, because we're crazy. Good vibes only duck you and your fake vibes. I know this guy whose status always read along the lines of, peace. Love and safety to everyone. Curiously, however, every time I hear about him, he's getting thrown out of bars and events for being belligerent and violent. I am not involved in politics, but, comma we need to rise up against children with leukemia. Dut, they have oppressed us gamers for too long now. Do you play basketball? I'm 6 feet 4 and this is by far the most annoying part of being my height. How's the weather up there? Oh god that's the second most annoying question. Supposedly I could care less. Pacifically. Comma well supported scientific theory is just a theory. Not all theories are equally valid. You can't deny a theory with enormous evidence behind it on the grounds that it's a theory. You had to refute the evidence. Free speech. I can say whatever I want. Free speech doesn't absolve you of any responsibility for what you say that the human eye can only see 32 frames per second. Forced participation, especially at work events. I was out of state for some training. At one of the training sessions, 
They tried to entice us into participating with gluten-free bite-sized muffins. I'm already irritated by the gluten-free people unless you're truly allergic. Cut that shit out. But it was the begging for treats-esque vibe that I was getting that sent me into duck this mode. My old workplace, at a makeup retailer, tried to incentivize my team to sell their product by promising us a pizza party if we reached our numbers. Like, dude, I work specifically so that I can afford pizza on my own. That I can eat by myself at my own house. There's no way I'm going to strong arm a bunch of naive old white women into buying whatever skincare snake oil you're peddling so that I can eat one slice of pizza during my 1 15 minute break of the day. Duck off. I've done my research. I know what I'm talking about. This is generally in regard to something scientific in nature. Diets, global warming, dietary supplements, medical stuff, etc. From what I can tell their research consists of reading blogs by random moms who don't know what they are talking about and reading Facebook posts from people involved in multi-level marketing crap. That is not research. And you do not know what you're talking about. Everything happens for a reason and God only gives us what we can handle she just got diagnosed with a serious disease Karen she doesn't want to hear that for duck's sake. Using I'm a religious man woman as a reason for leniency when someone has done wrong. 90% of anti-suicide phrases because they're either trying to guilt me into staying alive or are based on some very off-base assumptions about me. 60% of the time if it's the latter it's in reply to a comment that shows that their assumption was wrong before they even made the comment. Drives me absolutely mad. On par with people who say you aren't depressed. You're just having a bad day. Get outside. It takes a lot for me not to lash out. I also read a tweet saying depressed people don't need medication. They need running shoes and fresh air. I'm gritting my teeth just writing this. HNNNG. Because I said so. When I heard this as a kid my eyes were on the verge of falling out of my head. If I earn more money, I'll just pay more taxes. So it's not even worth getting a raise. No offense. But. In my honest opinion. I think that sometimes it's used as a way to say hey, I care about you so I'm not trying to utterly insult you, but would you kindly try to understand my point? Except 90% of the time it's probably people who just think they're in the right and the one who's taking offense is absolutely wrong. You have depression? Just cheer up or something. Why do you look so sad? Well I was doing just fine actually but now I'm irritated. That one girl that must add unnecessary commentary to whatever the professor says. Shut up Amy. No one cares. If someone told you to jump off a cliff would you? If Rosa were to jump off a cliff, she would have done her due diligence regarding the height of the cliff, the depth of the water, and the angle of entry. So yes, if you see Rosa jump off a cliff, by all means, jump off a cliff. Let's just think out of the box here, ugh. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.